Howdy folks, welcome back to Vintage Story. It's a dark, snowy night. It's actually almost daytime, but it's pretty dark out. It's been snowing hard the last couple days, and the snow is getting pretty deep out there. But I've been working a little bit on the new house, getting some of the basics laid down. And I finally got around to trying out chiseling, and it's pretty awesome. <laughs> I've uh, chiseled a couple blocks over there, and I was experimenting with some logs, but... I've got these four uh, andesite stones here I need to chisel. They're going in the front entrance over there. And it's nothing fancy. I'm just taking a, a little layer off. Uh, but now i got to remember how to do this. Is it is it the chisel that goes in your offhand? No, it must be the hammer because the chisel won't go. And then I think do you like click once. Yeah, there you go. And then we're into this mode. And then if you push F, you can do different different things. Um, and I was taking off a two by two. Yeah, two by two. So we're going to do doink, doink. I was just taking off uh, a little bit. So there was some contrast, you know, between the edges of this block and the next block. Starting to experiment a little bit with some, some fancier stuff. You can just go blop 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 if you're if you're fast enough. There we go. So I'm just doing that to uh, to each block here. And I was looking. I know I've seen people use like a, a pantograph and stuff to copy things. And it turns out that's with a uh, that's with a mod. Uh, I think it's called uh, Chisel Tools. So I might be adding that at some point. But for right now, I just got the vanilla built-in chiseling. So I have to do each one of these blocks by hand, as far as I know. I know there's uh, there's rotate and flip. Set name doesn't appear to do anything. I guess I'm just doing that wrong, maybe. Uh, but you can rotate them and flip them. That's pretty cool. I need the uh, two by two. Oh, and I missed that one right there. And I you can luckily put stuff back, <laughs> which is nice. So we're just going to carve these up real quick, and then we're going to go put them in place in the raging snowstorm. The snow is really deep. It's getting hard to move through it. And then I'll get you caught up. I did go out on another adventure, found a bunch more resin, and found another copper mine I haven't explored yet. Uh, found some borax, a whole bunch of lead. So that's all marked on the map. And I haven't found tin anywhere yet. So the only sign of tin I've seen is from the prospecting pick. And it looks like there's some tin somewhere to the southwest. We're going to have to do a lot of exploring. And with my luck, it's probably at the bottom of the ocean. All right, so there's that. Those are all carved up now. So we can put our hammer back, put our chisel back. And then we'll grab these guys. And I think the way I chiseled these is the way they need to be on the house. I think they maintain their orientation in the world unless you, you know, rotate them, obviously. So it is calm rift activity, and it's daytime. So in theory, we don't have any little friends out here. But look how deep this snow is. It's getting deep. And it's been like this for like two days now. This is the second day of just snowfall. And it's hard to see. But... You can see here, I've got a little bit of a start to the house. I might be doing some carving on these as well, just to make it more interesting, but I'm getting the basic shape in. And then I was doing the andesite here at the entrance, so I think I want to do that, and then that. So that way it's just inset from the log, and I might do something similar with these outside blocks. But with no way to copy, uh, it's a big, big job. So I may look into getting the, the chisel tools mod, and then I see there's a three tall door. So the plan is to have a three tall door there, kind of grand. And then this is just a log. I was experimenting. Get some of the snow out of here. I was experimenting with making it look like a round log. So this is just a log that I've chiseled off. Yeah, it's just an experiment. It's there. But the idea here, you can see, is to have some beams and then stone. And this is going to be kind of our, our grand house. It'll be uh, multiple floors. We have our big entrance here with the garden. I'll be putting around some bushes and whatnot for decoration and stuff. And then we have our, our rear door. 
Now I ran out of this uh, age shirt Ashlar blocks. So I need to find some more of those, hopefully, in some of the ruins around. I've been looking, but so far I haven't found it yet. So I didn't quite get all of that put down. Uh, but what I'm thinking is just filling that in with uh, packed dirt so it doesn't grow anything. And then we can, you know, replace that. Dig that up and replace it eventually with the real stone. So let's do that. I'm looking forward to spring. Uh, we need some more fruit in our diet for one thing. Uh, but just to get rid of the snow. It is almost half a block deep. I don't know how deep it goes. If it just keeps going. I'm not sure. But let's go take a look and see. How do we make a three tall door? I think I should have enough wood and whatnot for that. But that is the basic plan for the house. I've got the chert dry stone foundation around the edge. Uh, and then we've got the just chert cobblestone for the main... And some of the accent pieces will be this andesite as a contrasting color. And then the floor on the, at least the main floor, is going to be this aged shirt ashlar. That's, that's the plan. It's got to find more of that. So let's run back inside. Oh, and the bear. I didn't tell you guys about the bear. Remember the dead bear that sat here forever and never would rot? Uh, he's moved. And I ended up chopping that tree. The bear, can we see it in the snow? There's a pillar right there. The bear is buried under that. I don't know if he's still there. That was like a month or so ago in game. I uh, just kind of got him out of sight. Out of sight, out of mind. The other thing I was going to do was move uh, these to the pine, to pine trees. Or at least move one of them. I think a resin will do more, more good for us than the maple syrup. Because I haven't even figured out how to use the maple syrup yet. Uh, the video, last video I asked how to use that, uh, that hasn't gone out yet, so I don't have any answers as I'm recording this. Uh, what are we doing? We don't want to do a three tall door. Tall door. Three tall door oak. Uh, so we just need one of the nails and strips and then a bunch of boards. Alright, cool. That we can do. Uh, I do have a bunch of maple boards. What we need is oak. I do want to have an oak door. Once I moved, did I put the oak boards over here? No, I accidentally made them a whole bunch of wooden path. That's why that's there. No, no oak doors. I do need one of these though, so we'll grab that. And let's saw up some oak. I know I got a bunch of this to use for tanning, but I know there's a whole oak forest, so we'll, we can go get more. Fear not. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Was it that and that? There we go. Three tall door oak. like it. And I thought about doing a double door, but I don't think... I don't think it would really get used that much. I'd always just be opening the one anyway. So we're going to go with this for now and see how that looks. I do like the idea of tall ceilings, though. And then I think I want to do it from this side. So it's inset on the outside? Yeah, I like that. And then I'm going to put torches on each side. It's going to be great. <laughs> what do I need to do for the top, though? That's something I'm trying to figure out. Uh, let me go ahead and stick a ladder there to get up top. I thought about putting, like, a beam across there, but then... That'd be tall enough. Yeah, if we have a beam and then a floor... Uh, let's just see how how tall is that going to be. We can do that with just this. So we put one there. We have a roof out here. Yeah, I think that's fine. Do I want to go even taller so I can have like a lantern hanging down? Maybe even one taller. Some of this is going to be experimentation because I don't know exactly what I want. I want the snow to be gone so I can see what I'm doing. That much I know. All right, so if we do that, then let's just make a big ceiling. Yeah, then we could have a lantern come down. It's not going to be bonk us in the head. So I think I'll go up one more stone, uh, and then we'll do a beam 
And we'll have probably a wood floor for the second floor. Let's see what that looks like. Would be much, much tree chopping in my future. And I think I'm gonna go oak. We're going, uh, we're going stout. And then something else I need to look into. I've seen people do like peeled logs. I don't know how they're doing that. I haven't figured that out. I don't know if that's a mod too, or just something I'm not aware of in the base game. Uh, I've got tons of this shirt cobblestone. Oops. I gotta remember there's. I gotta remember. Oh, no, there wasn't a log there. There's a log here, right? Yeah, oak logs. So we need some more oak. The oak, there's a big oak forest over there. I need to go chop some more of that. For this build, we're gonna need lots of supplies. Do that, and then. I think I'm going to go back to Chert across here. We have the oak. Then we'll have the beam across here. And we can put in the uh, the wood floor. I think that'll work. That's kind of the basic idea. That's what I'm that's what I'm going for. I love the creek on that. That's awesome. Straight out of a Dracula movie. So it continues to snow. It's not quite as bitter cold. It's only, you know, negative ten. It's not bad. But let's go ahead and grab another barrel. I think until I figure out what we're gonna do with uh maple syrup we'll take these off because I haven't even figured out how to use it yet grab those and then I don't think the resin's going to be running until later in the year but let's go ahead and get a barrel set up for that uh, you have resin you're empty So now you're empty, you're empty. These are spare buckets. Do I have room in here? I'm running out of room for sure. Running out of room. I've got the cauldron mold. Well, I guess for now, I'm just going to set those there. Uh, that's our maple sap that we need to boil in something at some point. So let's set that there. And then if I want to make a couple barrels, I believe that's sticks and boards. I don't have either of those. So let's grab some sticks. Let's grab some boards. And if I remember, is it? Like this? Oh, that's a ladder. Well, I've, I've forgotten how to make a barrel. Barrel. Oh, that's close. <laughs> Wrong pattern. All right. Do that. And then on the corners. There we go. Two barrels, please. Put you back in there. Perfect. All right, activity still calm, so we shouldn't, in theory, have any friends out here. Let's go set this up. I've got one other pine tree back here. I need to uh, get some more seeds, get some pines planted. But also, I don't know if you could do like more than one, but I feel that would be kind of cheaty. So I've, I'm not going to do that. It might be possible. So I was standing too close. All right, so we got those two. And then we need another pine tree somewhere. I'll have to get uh, a pine cone. So I guess we could do one of the maple trees. Let's do this one over. So those are kind of flanking the garden. Let's tap this one. And I'll just go ahead and use a barrel here as well. 
free up my buckets for other use. And let's see, is that... Okay, so I need to get some more flowers and stuff for decoration around the house. I did... I've got some woad here, but... Uh, there's some really cool flowers elsewhere around the map. It would be good for decoration, and it is time to eat again. All I do is eat. Almost like real life. Been working on my... Uh, Porridge, rye porridge with mashed turnip. Mm -mm, good. So you can see our fruit's getting really low. Uh, we could actually use some protein, so I'll have to munch on some jerky or something. The fruit, we're going to have to make some jams or uh, some dried fruit or something. I know there's a lot of different options with the mods I've got to get some fruit so it doesn't go bad as quick. But uh, let's grab some oak here. And let's grab another stack of cobblestone. Oh, it's control. There we go. Oh, I see. Gotcha. All right, well, let's put that back in to get another full stack. What is going on? Why are you being weird? I don't know why it's being weird. Rift activity is still calm, so let's get to building. Let's get some logs across here. Uh, I love that. That's a nice sound. Uh, let's see, is this... Yeah, that's the side of the door, right? Yep. Okay, so let's put you down here. Like that. And then how do I get this to go the other direction? Nope. I'm not actually sure how I tell it to lay the other direction. Um, I wonder if I have to put a block down and then put it against it. That might be that might be the key. So let's just use a dirt block and then put it against it. Yeah, there we go. Then you're going to come across like this. I'll get this building stuff figured out. And then I th should I come all the way across? I don't know how to do the the pieces necessarily. If that makes sense, or should I do log all the way around? I guess if I'm going to have a floor here, we should do log all the way around. So we'll have it go like this. I'm going to need to go chop a lot of oak trees. Right, you come up, come up, you come across. Uh, like that, and then... Since we don't have a pillar here, I think I will keep it consistent ish. And do like that. And then our floor will be in there. We'll see how it looks. This is all subject to change, of course. And I'm out of logs. Sweet. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of logs, but there's a bunch of big oak trees over there, so. I will be harvesting a lot of those off camera. Take a bunch of axes over there and just, in my shears, and just choppy choppy away. Because we've got a ton of sticks now, thanks to the, to the shears. Uh, tell you what, let's go get the torches. Because it is getting dork. All right. Get you up there. We'll grab the two torches I want on the outside here. See how that looks. We got kind of a facade up. Uh, the rift activity is still calm, so that is good. Alright, you go back up there. 
go grab two of these guys. And searching the ruins, finding these is nice. Let's just do some fun stuff with Tor. Actually, I'll do one for the inside too, just for temporary lighting since we got it here. And then I will eventually have a cellar under here. I'm debating on what to do for blacksmith. I'd kind of like almost have a separate smithy. Just for looks. Ooh, I can't put that on there because it's... Right, because it's chiseled. Good to know. I'm learning the way of the chisel. So I wonder if I could add back a little spot and then attach it. I don't know how that works. Uh, for now, we'll just stick one here, just to have some inside light. All right, Kerbo Manor is starting to take shape. Get a screenshot of that. Lots more to do. Lots more to learn as well. So I think that'll be it for this one. I'm going to get back inside, get cozy, and if it ever stops snowing, I'll probably go make a trip, cut down some oak trees. And also, I might hit up the pine forest as well. I'll try to get some uh, pine seeds. So I'll grab my shears before I forget. Uh, do I have an extra axe? I don't. Are you in there? I'm digging these uh, chests for storing the stuff. You can put so much in there. I've got 729 blocks in there. I've got another thousand stone. Almost 100 chalk. We got a whole bunch of clay stone. So I want to do some kind of accent with some clay stone at some point. That gives us options. Maybe we'll do part of the cellar in clay stone or something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I do need to get refilled up on dirt. And I did a bunch of digging over by the where the new house is going to be. So that's why I have so much medium fertility soil. Because that's what was over there. We have a lot of it. All right, folks. I'm going to chill. Thanks, as always, for watching. I'll catch you in the next adventure. Take care.